Hey guys, in this video, let's explore the idea of simple interest and what it's all about. So let's begin by taking a look at the simple interest formula first, and then moving along from there. Simple interest is often represented with an I. Now, the way we calculate this simple interest is by multiplying the principal with the annual interest rate and time, as denoted by our P, R, and T, respectively. The principal amount is defined as the amount of money borrowed. The annual interest rate, on the other hand, is the rate that is charged for borrowing that money in the first place. After all, borrowing money does have its price. If we borrowed $20 in the business world, we would expect to pay back not just the $20, but also some interest on top of that. So for example, we'd pay back let's say $22. And why? Well, because the lender is going through a risk. After all, what if the money isn't paid back? So obviously, when the borrower borrows the principal amount, he or she is expected to pay back with both the principal amount borrowed along with the interest. In this example, that would be $20 plus $2. Therefore, the amount to pay back here is $22, which is the value of the loan at the end of the time period. This can also be represented in the following formula, where A stands for the total amount owed, P again stands for the principal amount, and I stands for the simple interest that we just went over here. Okay, so let's keep these formulas in mind for later while we move on. Now, notice how 10% of $20 is $2. So the interest rate is 10%, while the interest itself is $2. Therefore, do note the difference between the interest and the interest rate. So if we wanted to find the actual value of the interest, then all we would have to do is multiply the principal with the interest rate to get the interest. Now, before we continue, an interest rate isn't only used for loans. It's also used for investments. If you invest a certain amount of money, the objective is to get back your money and make some handsome returns. The amount that you would make is also determined by your interest rate. All right, so what's the meaning of the word simple in the simple interest? Well, it's essentially referring to the nature of the interest in that the amount of the interest made or owed after the first year is not part of the calculations in the next years, so on and so forth. What I mean by this is that if you are investing $1,000 and your simple interest rate is 10%, then in year one, you would be sitting at $1,100 in total. My question to you is this. In year two, would you make 10% of $1,000 again? Or would you make 10% of $1,100, which includes the $100 that you made from the interest? Well, for simple interest, we keep it simple by just making it 10% of the initial $1,000 year after year. There is no idea of stacking involved in this. Great, so the idea of simple interest is, well, simple. And now that we've gotten familiar with the terminology, let's try a couple of examples together. Let's say we invested $2,200 at a 4% simple interest rate, per year for three years. How much interest would we make? And how much is the value of the investment at the end of the third year? Well, let's go ahead and pull up our formulas that we established earlier, since these will help us with the question. And we also know that these formulas represent exactly the answers that we're looking for, so we can just put them together like this. Great. So let's first start with solving for the simple interest since the total amount equation requires the simple interest as part of its formula. Now, all we need to do is just plug our values into the first formula. 
We know that the principal amount is $2,200. The interest rate is 4%, which we plug in as 0.04 since it is a percentage. And the time is 3 years. Simplifying this gives us a simple interest of $264 made at the end of 3 years. And now that we have the value of i, we can find the total amount made by adding the principal amount and the simple interest together here to get our answer of $2,464, which would be the value of our investment at the end of 3 years. Awesome! Now, let's try one more example before we wrap up this lesson. What if we invested $1,000 at 2.25% simple annual interest rate for just 30 days? How much would we make in terms of just a simple interest here? Well, the only formula we would need here is the simple interest formula. So now, let's just go ahead and plug our values in for the following. P, which is the principal amount, would be $1,000. R, which is the interest rate, would be 2.25%, which we plug in as 0.0225 since it's a percentage. And the time would be 30 days. However, what would we plug in for here? Well, the key here is to note that the interest rate we were given was for an annual rate, meaning that we would receive 2.25% return on our investment per year. But since in this example we want to know what we would make in just 30 days, we would have to input the time as 30 over 365, as the amount of days over the number of days in a year. Therefore, after simplifying this, we arrive upon the answer, which is $18.50 made in just 30 days of our simple interest investment. Great! So now that we have a good idea of how simple interest works, be sure to catch us in the next lesson where we introduce you to the idea of compound interest. But until then, make sure to keep practicing some more questions so that you get used to these concepts and we hope to see you guys in the next one.